So what is ractopamine? Ractopamine is just a feed ingredient, kind of like a dietary supplement. It's produced from naturally occurring ingredients, including raspberry ketones, which are very popular for fitness and weight loss in people these days. While all of these are safe, it is not a hormone, it's not a steroid, it's not an antibiotic or a genetically modified organism. Why are people concerned? Until recently, most consumers had not even heard about ractopamine. Lately, it's been in the news because some of our trading partners have brought it to the headlines. A few have said they will not take our pork or beef because we use these supplements. The real reason they object is that a U.S. product is better and gives their local products some stiff competition. When it comes to meat, made in the USA is the highest quality and the most economical worldwide. Ractopamine is related to other useful medications used in humans. Some of my children have struggled with asthma, but a quick puff of Ractopamine's cousin, Albuterol, will have them breathing and running again in just a few minutes. Obviously, these products that my children take have been tested by the health agencies, such as Food and Drug Administration, and so has Ractopamine, in over 25 countries. It's been used in the United States without incident since 1999. So, Dr. Hurd, what exactly is ractopamine? As a veterinarian and public health official, I'm concerned that farmers only use products that are good for the animals and good for the humans who consume the meat. So I had to check this ractopamine stuff out. Well, what I found is it's just a feed ingredient. It's actually like a dietary supplement. It's perfectly harmless in the animals. In fact, it was developed from famous raspberry ketones, which people are calling fat burner in a bottle. However, unlike the raspberry ketones that most people are consuming, the um, ractopamine has been tested safe by the Food and Drug Administration. It's safe for the animals, and it's safe for the humans who consume the meat from these animals. So how does ractopamine work? The interesting thing about ractopamine is it actually does work. The FDA has shown through their studies that it's effective and then it's safe. And the way it works is similar to asthma medicines that my children used to take. It impacts the way the muscles behave in their metabolism. So that, you know, as we get older, we tend to put on more fat and less muscle. And that's the same with animals. And Ractopamine is only used in the last month or so of the growing period and actually makes the muscles feel young again. So we end up with more meat deposition, less fat, and therefore less waste. So is it a chemical additive? Well, you know, everything really is a chemical. Vanilla flavoring is a chemical. A protein shake is made of many chemicals. And raspberry ketones are chemicals. And ractopamine, like them, is a feed additive. The beautiful thing about ractopamine is it's not an antibiotic, so we don't have any resistance concerns. It's not a steroid, so we don't have any concerns with the Major League Baseball Association. And it's not a genetically modified organism. It's really rather green. Dr. Hurd, why do you say it's green? Well, as I will explain in another video segment, it allows farmers to raise more meat from each animal for less feed, water, and land because it makes them more efficient. For example, if all the pigs in the United States receive ractopamine, it would reduce water consumption equivalent to 1,200 Olympic-sized swimming pools full of water. If you gave it to all the pigs in the United States, it would reduce greenhouse gases equivalent to removing 400,000 cars off the road. More meat, less waste. Sounds pretty green to me.